What is up everyone, Poltertron here, back with another reaction video, and today I'm going to be checking out another Darman video, this one is called Quiet Guy Made Fun Of In School, They Instantly Regret It. So by day I think like other people in the school make fun of the quiet guy, and there's nothing wrong being quiet, like just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're less capable of doing things like you still yeah sure it might be better to be more open and talk more but being quiet doesn't mean you can't do anything like you know what they say you have two ears and one mouth which means you should be listening more than talking and i think this guy talks less because he's smarter but that's just what i think i'm gonna be starting this out right now Subscribe, like, comment, and go. Hey, man, she just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you react? Uh, uh. <laughs> the silence says uh, it all. You guys are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Oh, oh wait, wait, Jasmine. Uh, would you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow night? Um, I'll think about it. I think Dude, he's gonna make fun of him. Why didn't you say anything? You made them leave. I, I didn't have much to say. They still thought it was funny. I don't understand. Why are you always so quiet? What do you mean? There's a lot of advantages to being quiet. Oh yeah? Like yeah, what? Yeah, there is. Uh... Come with me. Brittany's having a kickback at her parents' beach house on Saturday. You want to go? We can't go to that. We have football practice. It's fine. We'll tell the coach that we're looking for colleges or something over the weekend. He'll never know. You down? I mean, who's he think he is anyway? Telling us, oh, you need to run oh, laps on right the weekend. That's the coach. When I see him, I'm going to tell him that, uh, coach, uh, what are you uh, doing here? Never mind me. Go on to finish what you were saying. When you see me, you're going to tell me what? Uh, Say it at his what face. A great coach you are. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, sure. I heard everything. Not only are you coming to practice now, but you'll be running double laps. What? You can't give us wow. double laps. What do you mean us? Trevor didn't say anything. I'm only talking about you. On the field now. Oh, I was giving you the eye. I literally we looked right so at you. So many chances. I, I, yeah, so that's what he said. I, I, I turned my head. I was like, stop. Talkative. So you see, being quiet keeps you out of trouble. Okay, but that's one situation. There's no other perks to being quiet. Not true. Oh, he's gonna show. I don't understand. Everything. What's the big deal about me going out with the boys tomorrow? Follow me. You don't see a problem with you spending our anniversary with your friends? That makes me feel like I'm just. You're overreacting again. I swear you always do this. I told you that on Sunday. You I didn't let me finish. You always talk over me, and you never give me a chance to say anything. Wow. I just wish you were a better like listener. It's like a special ability. Talk Jen White. Voice. Reason number two when you're quiet, you're a good listener. <laughs> Girls appreciate a good listener. All right, so there might be two small advantages. Big deal. Doesn't he kind of look like There's Drake more than a that. little bit? I'm not saying a lot, but just a tiny Watch. bit. That's what I think. Who can tell us the most important founding father of America? <laughs> Alex. That's an easy one. George W. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean George Washington? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, talking when you're not, like, sure about the answer. Hey, I can't believe he said George Bush. <laughs> yeah, well, being quiet helps you avoid saying dumb things. Man, I can't even That's argue true. with you on that one. Hey, can we get your guys' opinion on something? Yeah, sure. What's up? Michelle and I can't agree. Who do you think is hotter, David Dobrik or Mr. Beast? Um, what? I say Mr. Beast. What? No. He's a gamer. Exactly. 
Gamers are hot. David Dobrik turned down Madison Beer. He's way hotter than Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah, if this is kind of an awkward question. Look, if I had to choose, I'd say Mr. Beast. Told you. <sighs> That's so funny. Dude, why'd you leave me hanging over here? That was so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, when you're quiet, you can sneak out of awkward conversations without anybody noticing. That's another benefit. I didn't even think about that. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to let it's me know about the movies. Again. Uh, listen, about that. Yes? You want to go? No, that's not what I was going to say. Do you want to tell him or should I? I'm actually going to the movies with Kevin. What? Really? With Kevin? Dude, why didn't you say anything? Don't get mad at him. He's just quiet. And that's what you're into? Playing hard again. Are you kidding? Quiet guys are hot. Plus, you don't have to worry about them kissing and telling. Call me later. Wow. I he proved guess them there wrong. really are a lot of benefits to being quiet. Yeah, but being too quiet is not a good thing. Are you in a rock and roll at all? But yeah, quiet guy made fun of. They instantly regret it, but I don't know what they mean by they. Because no one else made fun of him. Only one guy made fun of him. Who is they? But I don't know who they is. Not me, not you. They. It's just they. But yeah, that's it. Loved it a lot. I'm going to rate this probably a... Solid 9 out of 10 because he actually proved the other guy wrong and showed him examples all around the school, which is actually a very unique way of teaching someone a lesson. But yeah, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.